Captain Jack Sparrow. What are you doing in there? Today's adventure brings us to the McDonald's Museum here in San Bernardino, California. This is the site of the very first McDonald's that the McDonald's brothers, Maurice and Richard McDonald, built in 1948. So I'm so excited to go check it out. I want to bring you with me. I mean, just look at this place. This is the wall outside. Look at this. So cool. So let's get in. Check it out. Okay, we're now inside the museum. Check out Ronald. He's here to greet everybody. Look at this guy. I so remember these in the McDonald's. Look at this, when you go on the other side, watch. <laughs> Where's my head? <laughs> these are so funny. They make you look so wonky. And then in these cases is every Happy Meal toy that there ever was. Do you remember these? I had these little chicken nuggets and you can take their hats off or their hair. Oh my gosh. Memories. Who remembers Mac tonight? I totally remember him playing the piano. Had these plates too and these cups oh my gosh oh this is too cool Look at these flip flops. Oh my gosh. So everything in here was donated by people. And it'll have their plaques right here with their name and their city and the year that they donated their goodies. Okay, I don't know how many times I played on one of these things. So cool. So if you want to know more of the backstory about McDonald's and the brothers and how they kind of started and how Ray Kroc came into the picture, you can watch the movie The Founder. It was really good. Here's the movie poster to The Founder. If you look up here, here's Ray Kroc in 1962 with the very first McDonald's that he built. And here is Remnants of that McDonald's. Tile, fry baskets. And this is what it looked like when it got torn down. So much history here. Here's more memorabilia from the movie The Founder. This is pretty cool. The shirt was worn in the movie. Here's a multi-mixer that was used in the movie. This is what Ray Kroc was selling to the McDonald's brothers. Burger wraps, french fry bags. Ooh, I think those are real. They kind of look real. I don't know. What do you think of this place? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I wonder how many times we've said cool in this video. Everything is so cool. 
Oh, what is this? This building was used from 1940 to 1948 as McDonald's barbecue. Look at this, the first Ronald McDonald. Okay, that's a little scary. Glad they changed him up. I totally remember these from the little playgrounds. Used to get down here. Oh, they have it blocked off. But you used to climb up the middle we can see inside and then play in this thing I never thought about it until now but that's kind of weird huh why would you want to play in that Dick and Mac McDonald opened the world's first McDonald's self-service drive-in restaurant on this site in San Bernardino, California in December of 1948. And they previously operated a successful drive-in barbecue restaurant with car hop service on this site from 1940 to 1948. So much history here. And the Hamburglar is watching over everybody. Check this out. It's the original piece of terrazzo floor tile from the original McDonald's. Just want to jump on it. <laughs> Here's another one. All the way around the building is this huge mural. It says it's the world's most detailed mural. Look, ZZ Top. Who's this? Luis, cameraman for the PBS series California Gold with Huel Hauser. I think he was an inspiration to many YouTubers. California Gold. Look at all this. This is crazy. So many details. Look, there's a Rolling Stones band poster. Look at the cars. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Santa Monica Pier. Oh my gosh, you would have to sit here for hours and try to see everything. There's a Hollywood sign, Dodger Stadium, Rose Bowl, Mount Baldy. Oh my gosh, La Brea Tar Pits. All these vintage McDonald's toys. Wow. Barstow American Graffiti. They have everything in here. Oh, there's Hadley's. That's where we stop and get date shakes. And the dinosaurs. We have to do a video on the Cabazon dinosaurs. That's coming up next. We have to do that. Oh, there's Snoop. Needles, California. We made it all the way to Needles. Well, I think the time has come. Got to take off in my super cool mystery machine van. <laughs> Some pretty random finds at a McDonald's museum, but who doesn't love Looney Tunes? Check it out. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Taz. Looks like he's gonna eat me. <laughs> I don't remember these horses like this being at McDonald's. But I do remember this tree. <laughs> Here's Grimace. The Grimace, introduced in 1973 as the evil Grimace, was a somewhat scary looking character. By the late 1970s, McDonald's softened his look and renamed him The Grimace. And today, he is known simply just as The Grimace. You want to get on there and teeter totter? You think it works? I tried it. Let's try it. It's, it's is it hot? Oh, it's hot. Oh yeah, the whole thing's gonna fall over. Darn. Oh, hey, Hamburglar. He must have stolen too many hamburgers. He's in jail. And you lost your arms. Yikes. And your legs. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys maybe learned something new or maybe you just had some memories come flooding back to you. I don't know, either way, we had fun. I couldn't leave without a McDonald's shirt and Tinsley got some smashed pennies for her collection. You wanna show them? So I hope you guys stick around for the next one. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs>